everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. My name is Kelly. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in South Central Missouri. And as you can tell by the title, today is launch day! Yay! If I had party horns, I'd be blowing them. Because this means that our brand new catalog that we will be working from for the next 12 months is finally here and I can show it to you. Now I've been playing with some of the products and I've shown you some of the products that I was able to get as a demonstrator on pre-order. But now I can show you the inside of the catalog. And here's one of the beauties of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is we were given a select group of products that we could order before anybody else could see the catalog. We also got to see a PDF of the entire catalog before it was launched to the public. So, um, definite advantages to being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But I want to walk you, I may have to do this video in two parts. I had a recorded, full walkthrough recorded on Sunday, and my computer and my phone decided they didn't want to talk. I could see the video on my phone, I could see it in iMovie, but when I plug everything into the computer, my computer told me it wasn't there. So, had a file folder there, but no video. So, I may be looking at a new iPhone before too long, and I really dread that. I hate going up, because when you go to newer versions, you have newer challenges to work with. But maybe the risk will outweigh what I'm dealing with now, so we shall see. So, if you get this in two parts, please come back and watch part one and part two. I would appreciate it. Before I get into product, there's a couple of things I want. If you're new to the catalog, I want to point out to you. So we're going to open it up, and you have all these first color pictures of inspiration to grab your attention. And I'm trying to keep as much of this in frame as I can. It's a big catalog. But then you go to our table of contents. And in the table of contents, turn that light just a little bit, you have our product suites listed. I think I counted three. 11 of them. Yeah, I had counted 11 of them. And what this means is, such as Tea Boutique, you can buy the individual items in that collection. The paper, the embellishments, the stamps, the dies, everything. You can order the stamp and die as a bundle and get 10% off. Or for one price and one stock number, you can just put the one stock number in and you will get one of everything in that suite for one price. And I really like that and that's how I ordered... Um, what did I order? Hues of Happiness. That's how I ordered Hues of Happiness, because I saw that paper, and it's like that one and Sun Prince were my two favorites. You'll also have accessories, and more will tell you to find those between page 120 and 177. These are all your papers, your inks, your tools, adhesives, everything that you will need to put projects together. And notice I'm not just saying cards, because there is so much more you can do with Stampin' Up! products. On page 78 to 80, you'll find information on how to host a class or party and earn free product. You'll also find information on joining. Now, I keep in mind, I can only work with United States customers. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. I will tell you that if you want to start a business and the Stampin' Up! products is the only suite of projects you, products you want to work with, Stampin' Up! is a really good company. I will be celebrating six years with Stampin' Up! next month. And while I have problems because there are so many other products out there that I want to play with that um, compliance issues prevent me from promoting other people, um, that's just me. Now, my sister-in-law, Rhonda Hankins, in Oklahoma, stamping up is all she wants to do, and she's doing fabulous at it. So it's all in what you want from what you're doing, okay? But I'm happy to talk to you and answer any questions that you may have. And then you have indexes of what pages to find the punches, the die bundles, which is your stamp and die combinations, the stamps, the accessories. So if you saw something and you can't remember what page it was on, instead of flipping through the whole catalog, you can go to the index in the back, get a germ of an idea of what that um, stamp set was called, or maybe just going through it, it'll click with you, and then it'll tell you what page it's on. Then there are icons to look for. The N inside of a pink box means this is a brand new product to this catalog. So you're going to want to pay attention to the new items. If you have tulips back to back, this means that the stamp, and it's a photopolymer stamp, and it's the images will be on both sides. So you can stamp reversible items. So cup handles can be going both to the right and left instead of being going the same direction. 
We have distinctive stamping. This is um, where your stamps will create um, different looks from one single stamp set. So you have your shading and you have your open areas if you want to go back and color in anything. Clock means everything is quick and easy. This is our simple stamping uh, cards and projects. And then if you have an EN and an FR, this means that that product is available in both English and French. Okay? You have different ways that you can partake in using Stampin' Up! products. You can get craft kits. You can uh, shop through the catalog. There are ways that you can participate in our Make a Difference program, which we have a Make a Difference project every year. Um, where to find hosting information, the joining information, and how to share your projects online. We have the Sensational Stampings. We have both um, the po Clear Polymer and then we have the um, cling mount stamps, which are like the rubber stamp just without the block. They go on the acrylic blocks. We have our um, stamp and write markers, which allows you to color in different parts of the stamp so you can get multicolors from one stamped image. Um, you can add embossing to your products or projects. You can do uh, heat embossing. You can do dry embossing with embossing folders. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about some of those techniques. And then there is our grid paper, where you have some place where if you want to do a ghost stamping, which you saw in my card yesterday, where you've got some stamping off area before you stamp onto your project, as well as using the markings, the grid, to line up things on your card. This is our five new, this is our whole, a good array of our new colors. And every year we bring in five new in colors, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Here is our suites, where with the one, one price, one code, you can order everything that goes together. We have two great die, uh, stamp and die embossing, um, die cutting and embossing machines. We have our uh, large uh, stamp, uh, stamp and cut, embossing cut. Yeah. And then we have a smaller version, and I have the small one, and I love it. On the small one, your base is three and three quarter inches. So I would go to three and a, actually three and a half to stamp and die cut and or emboss and die cut anything. And we have, you'll see in the catalog, it will tell you which die cutting machine works best for that product. And then everything coordinates. So if you like a paper designer series paper, which we call our DSP, you can usually get other things in there, such as our Stampin' Blends, our Stampin' Write Markers, our ink pads, our refillable inks, embellishments, note cards, all kinds of stuff, so that everything pairs together. That's one of the key things I love about Stampin' Up! I don't have to think about what goes together. We also offer our Paper Pumpkin, which you can subscribe to, and my Paper Pumpkin direct link is in the description box below, where you can pay $23.50 a month and pay as you go. Um, so one month would be, but if you do prepaid subscriptions, one month would be $22.50. A three-month prepaid would be $67.50. Six month would be $122.50, saving you a dollar per month. Or the 12 month is $235, and that gets you, you're paying for 11 kits and getting the 12th one free. And there's always something different in those kits, and everything you need to craft is in the box, unless you want to do something alternative than what the cards, than what the description flyer <laughs> offers, in which case you might need a pair of scissors. But if it's die cuts, they punch out. Everything is, pr is pre scored. Uh, die cut, you get adhesives, you're in an exclusive stamp set. Stamp sets in the Paper Pumpkin are exclusive to Paper Pumpkin. Now, down the road, six months to a year, they may offer it as a card kit, but you still won't get the stamp set, usually. So, the stamp sets to Paper Pumpkin are exclusive to Paper Pumpkin. And then we have our kit collections. This is where they bring in some of the past elements of Paper Pumpkin, or design completely new items like our um, Be Kind set. And you'll find these by uh, going to the store and putting kits, uh, card kits, in the search box. And you'll get all the card kits available. Okay, this is one of those suites that I told you about. Tea Boutique. 
you could get the paper individually. You could get the note cards and envelopes individually. You could get the stamp set individually. You could buy the dies individually. Or you could buy the stamp and dies together and you save 10%. Or you can buy with this code number, get everything you see on this page for the one price. And that's where the sweets come in. So you get, you don't have to think about what you want to get. You just get everything. And it also tells you what colors of cardstock coordinate with this set so you know which colors of cardstock to go look for back in the paper section. And I have Tea Boutique here. And I have, one of the things I have about Tea, tea Boutique, um, Tea Boutique is a 6x6 six six paper pad. A lot of our paper kits are 12x12. 12 12. Tea Boutique is one of our 6x6. Six six. I'm going to turn this here so we get a little more light on this, I think, hopefully. Uh, we have overcast skies today, so I don't care what kind of light I throw on here. It's still going to be kind of dark. But we have this. This is the back side. I love this this uh, checked uh, peachy tone. And I believe it might be Blushing Bride. And then we have this one with the envelopes. Now I want you to keep this these two pieces in mind. I'm going to bring them back in and show you how well individual designer series papers and kits can coordinate with other things in the catalog. Then we have our teacups and that all over print, our teapots and that uh, orchid oasis, lemons and the, what did they bring that one in? They don't even show that one, but that one I think is Fresh Freesia. And that one I think is our Blushing Bride again, more overall teacups. Now, the dies do not cut out the things on these papers like they do in some of ours. But they're not hard objects to hand fussy cut or perhaps try using a scan and cut for those. And I think they miss the boat a little bit by not giving us dies for some of those because they're small and intricate. But we're going to hang on to this one for a minute because I have something to show you when we get to it. Okay. Um, sending smiles is another good one. Nice coordinating sayings and coordinates with a stamp and die blend um, for uh, saving you your 10% on the bundle purchase. Bottled happiness is another one. Um, this one also this one comes as the stamp and the die as a bundle, or you can buy them individually. But remember, when you bundle, you save 10%. But you also have these vintage shaker domes. So you can add more dimension to your card or scrapbook page. I love this one. Sending a little message, and it has a message in a bottle under the dome. I like that one. Um, Good Feelings is a new one, and I have that one here, I do believe. Of course, it's on the bottom of the stack. But I do have this one. Now, I got this one free from Stampin' Up! for signing up for a training. I did not have to pay for this one. It's normally $24. But thank you. Sending us, sending sunshine and good feelings your way. I'm just so happy for you. You're on my mind and in my heart. And this is one of those where you could go through and color the mind and heart in a different color than the you're on my and in my. And then you have hip, hip, hooray. And you could layer those around. So that's good feelings. Okay. Sweetest Cherries is another uh, new one this year. You can get the individual components if you just want the stamp set, or you can get the stamps and the cherry building punch as a combo for 10% off. Breaking News is a good one. This is great to have on hand for retirements, for graduations, for um, birthdays, you know, marking a milestone. Then we have... Um, Lovely and Linen. Now, I don't have this paper in yet, but that one is another collection and it's another suite. And the stamp and die or stamp and punch can be bought as a bundle for 10% off, or you'll get it if you go with the suite number. I love that suite number. Go to greetings. I absolutely love this. Please remember go to greetings when I show you a paper here in a little bit. I love this because it is so elegant. And regardless of what you do to a card, the sentiment is going to add beautiful elegance to it and just elevate it a little bit. Amazing year. Now, this is the one I was talking about. Amazing year. No, this is one of them. It would still work to use these papers because look how similar the flowers are. But Amazing Year is new. It's a stamp set. 
Uh, Sweet Songbirds is new, and if you watch Kylie Bertucci's channel, she's been doing Angry Birds with this set. And again, stamp individual, or it's available as a bundle with a 10% savings for the stamp set and the Build-A-Bird. Framed Occasions. Now you'll see here this doesn't come with the Shapes Die bundle, but it will tell you that it coordinates with the beautiful Shapes Dies on page 169. A little cheesy. Uh, you're a one top cookie. Thanks for putting up with me. And then I absolutely love this one. Cheerful basket bundle with our kitty cat and the, the wooden chipboard, chipwood basket with all the things that you can stamp into the basket. This will be a great one for layering. Then we have butterfly kisses. And I don't think I got this one either. But butterfly kisses, let me see. I don't think I did, but let me check my stack here. And I want to make sure I can get to that one. And that's the rest of it. Nope, that is not one of them I was able to get a hold of. Not one of them I could get a hold of. But again, it's a sweet. And what does sweet mean? Everything on the page for one price. Uh, Charming Sentiments. This one is really pretty. And it has a lot of different dyes to go with this one. I have 15 minutes trying to get through this. Um, sunny Splash with your bathing suit. Simply fabulous. Trimming the Tree is new this year. And I will be showcasing this one in July for Christmas and July projects. Happy Forest Friends. This is that all over collection that they showed us in the front. When they were talking about coordination, how everything goes together. This is um, Happier Than Happy uh, and our Happy Forest Friends Designer Series paper. Elephant Parade Bundle. I love this. I am going to have to have this one just for the elephants. I'm also going to need Pure Magic. I have um, mermaid junk urinals that I'm working on. My husband collects dragons. And my youngest granddaughter loves unicorns and pegasus. So that's going to be a really good one to have on hand. Um, I'm just skipping through the ones that are not new to this catalog. We have this birthday piggy, more piggies. Cottage Rose is similar to our hand pen that we had last year. This is Abigail Rose. And I thought I had Abigail Rose. Thought I thought I thought. I have paper stacks everywhere over here. And I think as I do them, I'm going to move them. I might not have that one. It might have just clicked with me because <coughs> I went through and I labeled all of my folders yesterday. Um, again, it's a sweet. And notice here that we've stamped on the ribbon. Potted geraniums. Can be bought as a bundle. Big hooray. Reasons to smile. And this is the one they were showing in the front where you could color different parts, different colors, and give it a unique look. Um, stepping stones and stronger together. Fresh cut flowers. We do a lot of flowers because flowers speak so many languages. A wash in beauty. And our True Beauty Bundle. Fish, a fish and a Wish. Hope and Prayer. Speedy Recovery. And this one you could use these same papers as from the, uh, the tea set. This is the one I was thinking of. Inspired Thoughts. This is Full of Love is a new stamp set. But look at the flower combinations here. And notice the flowers in the envelopes here. These papers would work great with this stamp set as well as the tea boutique. Okay. Um, he's all that. Now I'm going to move the catalog out of the way for a minute because this one I do have um, the papers for. So let's move this aside. Now he's the man is a good scrapbooking type set. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. 
I'm trying not to let everything else slide over here on my office chair behind me. But this is one of the first sets that I can remember where we actually have die cuts that you can punch out to make simple cards. Or there's two sheets of them. I have the other sheet over there, but there are two sheets of these. And there's like over 40 pieces on this sheet. I think I counted yesterday. But then you have the papers. So we have, if you have a guy who likes to barbecue, and there's that. You have more of your computer, techie, nerdy kind of guy. Have a guy who loves cars, vintage, motorcycles, muscle cars. Uh, maybe the, go the golfer in your family and the Argyle. And your outdoors guy with the campers. Okay. This is 12 by 12. But I cut them down into 6x6 six six so it was easier to show them to you here. And I'm trying to keep everything separate till I get it moved over. So this is our He's the Man. And then this is the Stamp and Die Bundle. He's all that bundle with the stamps and dies. And the, the dies will cut out those shapes. So everything is right there and it's a sweet. There we go. Okay. Um, tech support. I love this one. Uh, sorry to hear you have a virus. Um, oops, I'm sorry. Control Z. Oops, I'm sorry. And if you don't know, holding down Control Z will undo a, something you've just done on the computer. Then we have the Brood for You bundle. Wendy Cranford pointed out, this is great. Even if you're not, if you don't use cards for, if somebody doesn't drink alcohol, this would make a great root beer float. Um, glasses of milk on kids' cards, that kind of thing. So don't think about just alcohol when you look at this stamp and die bundle. Stamp and die bundle. Na Adventurous Journey here in the Ozarks. Kayaking and canoeing are a huge business. We have uh, kayak expeditions and that kind of thing, and this is great for that. Anybody who likes to get out on the water, wild and sweet, and vintage tools. Um, Hair on Habitat, Treasured Kindness. This has more of an Oriental feel. Sun Prints. Now, this is the first one that I saw everything on this page and had to have it. That just, I had to have it. So, let me move my, he's the man, out of the way. And, Hang Nature's Prints. I don't know where my stamp and die went for this. I just had it this morning, so it's got to be here, right? It has to be here. Maybe stamp and cut. I'm looking, I'm flipping here because I just had it this morning. Huh. Okay, trust me, I do have that one because I was going to use it this morning. But this gives you a wreath design in the bundles as well as dies that will cut out this, 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 and this. Okay, and that's why I had it handy because, no, that wasn't the one I used. But anyway, you would get, if you do the suite, you would get the papers, the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folder. And this is a 3D fern embossing folder. Let's see if I can slide this in here and let it show off a little bit. And you can see the fern print in there. Okay, set that aside. Put that back where it belongs. And then let's take a look at the papers. I love these prints. I saw these blues and I just fell in love. And I don't know why I cut two of them, if I was going to show them to you this way anyway. This reminds me of dandelion puffs or fairy clocks. And some of these, the way they cut, there was more to it. But I wanted to cut it to 6x6 six six so you can see where that pattern continues. And then there's this one. So that is Sun Prints. And 
I need about 16 different places over here. Okay. Um, Wisteria Wishes, if you like. And now some people... Now I, When I saw this set, the first thing I thought of was corn stalks. Well, guess what? People have been doing corn with these. They've been turning these into ears of corn. Standing on these. And then here they've done something. I can't remember the name of the flower. But it would work on here too. So it's not just wisteria. You can be creative. Botanical layers. This one is really cool because you can get this bundle. And this bundle is unique. You can get the stamp set. But then you also get these. And there are four of these. I think they're roughly four by six. And these are a vellum. And I'm trying to get them apart here so you can see and only get one. But there's this one. And then there's the scribble circle. And all they do is create a nice overlay on the front of your card for you to do something on. And there's this one. Put that over blues. Dots. And they just, it's a pre-made background for you to work with. And then you have all these loose ones that are plain that you can create your own backgrounds with on the vellum. So that is our Botanical Layers Bundle. Waterfall Canyon. It does great on its own for making a card, but you can pair it with Mountain Air, which is one of our existing sets. Another sweet texture chic is the paper. The foiling, this is a distressed gold 12 by 12, the stamps and the dies. And you have different seasons in there. You have the flowers, you have snowflakes, you have uh, oak leaves, seashells, lots of things you can do with this. And here they're showing you a scrapbook page. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Uh, Lighthouse Point pairs well with new Waves of Inspiration. Now remember, we had Waves of Inspiration in as an early release. So it has it comes as a stamp and die bundle for 10% off. Lighthouse does the same thing, has the Lighthouse dies that you can get um, as a stamp and die bundle there. Okay. The only thing I wish they'd done was I wish they had kept the paper, kept the designer series paper for this. So if you got in on that pre-order for that, Pretty Birds, this is what I think of when I think about our new in colors that I'll be talking about in a minute. Um, but the dies also include cages and perches. I'm kind of keeping an eye on this. I want to try and keep it at 35, and then I can come back and do a part two. So I make sure my computer cooperates. Uh, happiness abounds in the hues of happiness. I have that one. But apparently, not all of my papers came over with me. Everything, there it is. I was going to say, everything was on here yesterday. <laughs> and then I had to move everything. But here's our Happiness Abounds stamp and die set. And the die even has like a torn notebook or a uh, spiral edge that you can put to your papers. And those dies will cut out some of the flowers in the Designer Series paper. And the paper here, this watercoloring, has the look of canvas. Looks like you could almost reach out and touch it. And get the canvas. There's one in the blues. And then this is the designer series paper, the 12 by 12 sheet that you can die cut these flowers and these flowers from. And I'm not going to line them up perfectly, I know, but we're going to go for it this way. There we go. So you can see the entire 12 by 12 sheet and all the different flowers that you can cut from this page using the dies. No fussy cutting. So that is Hues of Happiness. Okay. And it's a sweet, 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 sweet. Um, Willow Tree is new. 
Places in the Heart is new. And Graceful Piles. And see how they've combined Graceful Piles here. This is the wreath from... It was back here. It was one of our florals that I had handy. It was back here in the front. I'll have to show you that later because I don't want to take up screen time. But they brought together this die from one collection and put it with the die or with the stamp from this. Okay. Uniquely artistic. This has a nice uh, sketch look to it. Our new alphabet with a punch that will punch out the base of tags to go with this one. It looks like this is going to be all lowercase. Then we have our big stamps. We have the Rays of Light. We have the Pretty Medallions, which is a Moroccan look. Bouquet of Thanks. And those are the big stamps. I thought I had one over here. I must have put it away. I have this background stamp that we got with Waves of Happiness. Um, or Waves of the Ocean. Heavenly Hollyhocks. Uh, limited edition, if you're um, thinking of becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you could add this to your kit and be able to promote your business. Because whether you sell Stampin' Up! or you use Stampin' Up! products and things that you sell, you need to include the Stampin' Up! logo somewhere on the card. Usually on the back where you would put your name or your business name. It's part of our angel policy. You can make things with Stampin' Up! stamp sets and our dies and all of our embellishments. Just somewhere on the project you need to add the Stampin' Up! logo. And that's what this stamp is set is good for. Okay, I'm not going to get into colors on this video. I'm going to move into colors and embellishments and everything on part two. And I'm running them both today, back to back. So I will see you back here in just a few minutes. 